Hi, my name is Bob Cheslinski, and in today's video, I'll be reviewing the Bulgera 12 inch 1000 watt base amp. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button below. Also, subscribe to my channel, that way, you'll be able to watch all the videos that I'm bringing out. Well, let's get to the video. This is the Bulgera 1000 watt VXD. 12 inch. There is the power button. Power button's pretty cool. Power button has a little orange light. And the orange light looks pretty cool. Uh, we've got several knobs. Of course, you've got your treble. And you've got the mid, and you've got the bass. And they do act, add an extra low button. And we also have this uh, mid frequency with several different choices on there. And we also have this ultra high button. So the ultra high is going to add a little bit more trouble to the sound. I don't know why you'd want to do that in the bass amp. Uh, we have the ultra low, which adds a little extra punch for the bass, but I tend to not do that. Uh, the cabinet doesn't really rattle. I just feel like it, it sounds better with it off. We also have a uh, compressor, and that compressor is really good to uh, help with the sustains just gives it a, a better sound lasts a little bit longer um, there's an extra thresh and compression button and then of course you have your gain and then we have this negative db along with a mute so you know for some reason you needed to uh, clip the bass out and mute, uh, you could use that button there. Um, of course, there's our input jank. All looks super cool on this Bulgara bass. I love the way the blue kind of shines through on the speaker cone underneath the grill. That looks pretty cool. And that gold Bulgara name, I mean, that looks super awesome. You have uh, two positions also. You can have uh, the bass in the angled monitor kind of uh, set up, and then it can rock forward and be sitting on the floor like a normal bass. This amp does weigh 43 pounds, so it is kind of heavy. We've got the input for your uh, cord for electric. We also have an XLR for a DI out. There's a tuner out. We've also got the return and the send. So you could do uh, um, preamps in and out. We also have RCA jacks for the auxiliary in. And there's also a jack for a foot switch. So of course we wanna hear what this kind of sounds like. That's a pretty big sound coming from that amp. And that's definitely pretty clear. you got something out of the video today this is an incredible bass amp I really enjoy using it for my own personal bass playing and for the things that we do at school uh, it puts out a ton of power and for three hundred and forty one dollars and sometimes you can even find that on sale that's an amazing deal an amazing bargain so 
I hope you found this very, very interesting. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell. That way you know when the new videos are coming out. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to making another video for you. We'll see you in the next video.